So the networking devices look at this question. A device has two or more IP addresses. They are saying that there is more than one IP address for a network. In computer networks, a device can have uh, more than one IP address and uh, such a device, I mean there are lots of devices which are having IP addresses. First thing is, if a device has to have an IP address, it should def definitely have a uh, network layer, which means if, if you look at switch, switch or hub that doesn't have network layer, therefore they will definitely not get any IP address, switch, hub or repeater. They will not get even a single IP address, right? And now if a, if a host or if a device has to have an IP address, it should have network layer and above. So what are the devices that have network layer and above are? First thing, workstation has all the layers, either 7 or 5. In TCP IP, all the 5 layers, workstation will have all the layers. And router will have only 3 layers and gateway will have all the 5 layers, assuming that it is TCP IP. If it is ISO OSI, we can assume that they have all the layers. Anyway, now router is having network layer, therefore it will get at least one IP address. I mean workstation and router is having network layer therefore it will get at least one IP address and gateway is also having IP network layer therefore it should also get at least one IP address. And now in your host is nothing but your computer, a user, end user. Now what happens is end user can configure more than one IP address to his uh, computer. So why a host will go for more than one IP address is getting one IP, more than one IP address is nothing but being present in more than one network like this. If you take two IP addresses from two ISPs, you are present in two networks. Even if one network is down, you could be reached, reached from the other network. If this is down, you can reach the host from other network. If this is down, you can reach the net host from other network. That is the reason uh, generally people will go for more than one IP address. Therefore, a workstation can have more than one IP address. And how many IP addresses? That depends on how many interfaces you have. Generally, IP address is assigned to the interface. And generally, when you buy a laptop, it will get at least, you will get at least two to three interfaces. Every interface can be given one IP address. Sometimes there is a concept called as uh, virtual interfaces also, which means even though you have only one Mac, one Mac, one NIC, <coughs> excuse me, even though you have one NIC, you can, you can uh, create many virtual, uh, uh, virtual interfaces. And for each interface, you can give one IP address. Therefore, either directly you can assign one IP address to every interface or you could use virtual interfaces and you can assign IP addresses. So, workstation can have more than one IP address. And what about a router? A router will also get, for every interface, it will get one IP address. For example, if you have a router and if it is having these many interfaces, on every interface, on every interface, we get a IP address. Every interface here will get IP address and it is generally a convention that the IP address will be taken from the network to which uh, it is connected to and will assign one IP address. Therefore, router will also get more than one IP address. What about gateway? Gateway is simply an extension to router. If router is, generally routers are used to connect networks and even gateways can also be used to connect the networks. If router is capable of getting more than one IP address for every interface, gateway obviously will get it. So, all the devices are capable of getting more than one IP address, right?